What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my podcast channel, True to the Tea Podcast, where I am your hostess, of course, Jasmine Denise. So, let me tell y'all, before we get into the topics and stuff, let me tell y'all, I recorded a video, right? And when I went back, I didn't have on this outfit, but when I went back to look at that um, video, I was blurry and what else happened? Oh, the lighting was off. I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? So yeah, um, here I am back again. Look, let me make sure I'm not trying to do no nipple slip because I ain't got time. <laughs> so if you see me like here looking now, I'm just trying to make sure looking at my monitor right here. I'm just trying to make sure I am good to go. So yeah and i have my phone right here because i'm actually looking at my notes we're gonna be talking about relationships we're gonna be talking about prenups <laughs> we're gonna talk about going to the courthouse or actually having a wedding we're gonna be talking about um posting your part we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff so i know you know a lot of people like jasmine why are you single da -da -da, whatever i'm single because Y'all men don't want to do right. I, I was about to say the N word, but I had to correct myself. I got to stop saying that. <laughs> but yeah, some of y'all won't do right. Like, I don't know what's up with this generation, but child, y'all be having me scared. <laughs> like, I cannot, I cannot, I don't know. But it's like, if I run into the right man, then, you know, I'll be, I'll be good. I'll be good. Like somebody who knows how to communicate. You have to know how to communicate in a relationship. Somebody, my hair is in my eye. Somebody who, okay, we just gonna leave it right there because the hair is in my eye. Um, somebody who is committed to the relationship. Somebody who knows what they want out of relationship. Somebody who knows what they bring to the table and we can work together. All that type of stuff. But you also have a lot of men and women who portraying that they can do all this stuff, but it's a lie. It's a lie. They are a clown. <laughs> they put that makeup on and then when they take it off, they a whole different person. Child no. You gotta be careful out here in these streets. Um, so yeah, that's the reason. I'm just chilling, waiting. Um, but God said you have not because you asked not. <laughs> So, Lord, here I am. Not on bended knee, but here I am. The time, when the time is right, the time is right. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm going to keep it at that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and that goes for me. I'm going to post my partner. Okay, not that often. But, y'all be, this generation be like, oh, I don't want to post my partner. Duh, 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 duh. Man, look. I don't want to hear, oh, I'm private. I don't want to hear that. Because <laughs> when you say private, I'm going to think, oh, you hide something. You are hiding something and you want to hide me because you're messing with another female. That's what that is. Or you mess with another male. That's what that is. That's exactly what that is. Because child, mm -mm. either you're going to post me. <laughs> or I know people be like, oh, um, looking for validation. You don't have to prove nothing. Okay, that's cool. And I'll, you right. I don't have anything to prove, but I'm going to post my damn partner because I'm the type, look, I love the camera. I love taking pictures. That's just what I like to do. Okay. I love doing that type of stuff. So yes, if we're out somewhere on vacation, you're going to get posted. And if you're against that, you got to go. <laughs> you got to go because I'm with, I'm with all of that. Okay. And this just goes back to, you know, previous relationships where people want to talk about something. I'm private. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Won't you get this? How about, how about I mention you in the post? How about that? How about that? Then they have a problem with that. And I'm like, child, you know what? I ain't got time for this shit. <laughs> I don't have time for it. So I don't want to hear no excuses. If somebody be like, oh, I'm private, whatever. I'm be like, okay, you can be private with somebody else. 
You can be private with somebody else, child, not with me. And then I seen this post on Facebook. It was like, would you move in? No. What did it say? It was like, what did the post say? Something about moving in with your partner in a relationship or not. No. They would rather move in with their partner when they're married. Okay. I'm against that because first of all, if we're in a relationship, I need to know that we can live together. I need to know that we are on one accord. Okay. Cause if we get married and we're not on one accord, then we'll have a problem. <laughs> we ain't going to have a problem. I don't understand that. Like I really don't. How can you move in with somebody? You don't know how that person, if they were to clean up, at, if that person clean up after themselves, you don't know if that you don't know you don't know. So no, it's like, okay, that's cool. If you want to come over every day, cool. If you want to spend the night throughout the week, cool. If you want to just do the weekends, cool. I'm fine with that. But I need to know that can we get along in the same area? How you are. And that goes and that goes back to that saying you have to know somebody throughout all their seasons. When they're mad, when they're happy, when they're depressed, when they go on so how does that person deals with all of that because you might not like how that person deal with this so you might not you know what i'm saying everything could be compromised everything could be you know talked about whatever but you have to know how you gonna live with that person you have to know that person you have to know so yeah i'm against that no you're gonna come spend the night <laughs> you're going to come spend the night that's what that's what's going to happen but yeah and then when we married, and I see some people talking about when they're married, they want to live in two separate households. Look, you do what you want to do, but my man is not going to be living in no separate household. What? When you married, nigga, it's over here. Cause separate household, who? Child, please. Ain't no way. I'm not. No, I'm against all that, nigga. Over here, okay. <laughs> Get over here. You not fin I'm not doing that separate living. I'm not doing that. Because you might be trying to live a double life. Mm-mm. 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 And that goes back to that goes back to that thing that was on tick that I think it was like 50 parts. That woman did like 50 parts, I think. And she was just saying how like she hurried up and married this man because she thought she he was the one. Come to find out that nigga scammer. I mean, that man is a scammer. <laughs> That's why you got to know who you, she did, that had like felonies, ain't nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying, come on now. That's not her cup of tea, but I'm just saying, like lied about everything, lied about having sisters, brothers, like he lied about a lot of stuff. That's why I said you need to know your partner before you marry them. Okay, you need to do some digging. Make sure they ain't hiding nothing. That's the hidden agenda, child. That just made me want to type somebody, what, type people name in the system. What are you doing? <laughs> like, good great child. That was crazy, but she blew up on TikTok. I didn't watch the whole thing. Um, I read like summary, but then I also went on YouTube and watched um. I am Zoe. He did like an hour, you know, reaction video to that. And I literally just watched him like two hours ago talking about that and, you know, breaking stuff down. Child, that is crazy. Like that, that is crazy. Let me make sure my volume is up while I'm just talking. Okay. Yeah. That is like crazy. That is wild. I said, oh, we ain't no ain't no way and then suppose but child uh -uh, that's why i say you got to like i said know your partner before you marry him don't be jumping into these marriages if you don't know your partner don't be doing that because you're gonna end up like that one man trying to get on tiktok tell him my story <laughs> i him to tell my story child that was a lot I feel bad. No, I don't feel bad because you should have did your research. You should have got to know your partner before you married. And it, I mean, man, see what I mean? It's a habit, y'all. I'm sorry. But child would have made him <laughs> prenup. Oh, another thing. Are y'all against prenups? I'm not. You feel me? Some people, you know, will show a different. They could be all sweet. But when that divorce hit, if, if, if it comes to a divorce, 
Oh, baby. Some people are just maniacs. Some people go crazy. And will literally go after everything that you have earned. Know about that. But, yeah. Prenup. And people be like, oh, you should, um, you shouldn't have to, you should love your partner. Okay, that's cool. I love my partner. But you're going to sign these papers. <laughs> you're going to sign these papers. I cannot, I can't see how people do it. And that goes back to that TikTok. Like, when he got out of jail or something like that. No, he found out that he didn't have to leave the house. You see what I mean, prenup. He didn't have to, like, they had to share all this shit. That lady was like, child, you can take it out. But anyway, I think he ended up homeless or something like that. But, yeah, prenup, you not finna, you, uh-uh. People were literally, it, it could change a person. That person get jealous because you done met somebody else. And now you out here looking foolish. And they trying to come after your money or your business or anything like that. So, yeah, and if you see me looking to the side, I have my monitor right here to make sure I'm still in focus, make sure everything is good. So, yeah, I cannot. I cannot. Then you got people out here cheating. That's another topic. Y'all cheating. Y'all 30. 30 and up. Not even 30. Just in general. Look, it's too much. It's too much shit flowing around out here. <laughs> it's too much. You stick to your partner. If you don't want that partner, leave them. Okay, don't be wasting people's time out here. Definitely don't waste my time because I'm going to let you know I do digging. Okay? And when I want to find something, trust me, I... Huh, huh, better ask. <laughs> I be okay. Child, I go through the phone, all that. I don't care because last time I went through a nigga phone, ooh, we boy, I was fucking hurt. <laughs> I clutched my pearls. I was like, oh my god, child. But yeah, y'all gotta stop cheating out here. Like I said, there's too much shit floating around. Even that, oh, you use condoms, man. Look. I don't care what nobody talking about. Somebody got something in your mind. You go in your mind. You hitting that female or uh, man in your mind. You going to be like, damn. Even though I got this condom on, or even though this nigga got the condom on, I can still get some shit. Like uh, I can't do it. That is too much. Now wait a minute. I cheated one time, but we ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> It was like a get back thing, which first of all, I don't even do that shit no more. I don't even do stuff like that anymore. It's not worth it because when I got done, she and I got in the car and he called me. He was like, yeah, where you at? I was like, shit, I'm about to be finishing up with doing something. Like, this is exactly what I said. I'm not going to mention the situation, but that per anyways. So he was like, where you at? And I was like, um, you know. Getting finished up doing something, duh, 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 whatever. No, I said, y'all, I'm gonna be real. We're gonna keep it real. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all what I said. I said, <laughs> I was finishing helping up with my grandmother with cleaning up. <laughs> Grandma, I'm sorry. I love you, but God, it, it was like a split second that had to come to my mind to think of something. I'm like, shit, what can I tell him? What can I tell him? Like, God damn. He was like, okay, when you get done, come to you know, the ran rehearsal, da, 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 da. I said, okay, cool. Little y'all, when I got driving, I, I cried. I cried like I was, I cried. Like I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about boo-hooing, crying like tears streaming down my face. I'm like, how the fuck do niggas, I mean, females and niggas, how y'all do this? Like I, I couldn't do it. Like I couldn't even look at myself. I said, what did I just do? But I ended up telling him though. And then we had broke up. I'm like, nigga, how you gonna, I mean, man, look, it's a habit. How you gonna cheat on me? But then when I cheat, man, why y'all do that? Let me know in the comment section below. Why do y'all do, why do y'all break? Cause it be hurting y'all. That's why I just answered my own question. It be in y'all up inside. When women cheat back, it be eating y'all up inside. But deep down, I really want to know, why do y'all do that? Why do men break up with women when we cheat on y'all? But when y'all cheat, y'all think, oh, we just supposed to brush it off. Nigga, please. I, I'm, uh, <laughs> no. I might, with me, I'm not going to brush it off. But I'm going to break it up. I'm going to be like, okay, so what was the reason? What are we lacking in? Please let me know. So we can work on it. We can do something. But then if you cheat again, then I'm gone. Because... Uh, uh I don't do that. I don't do that second time. 
One time I give you a one time pass. Now that second time, you know exactly what you were doing. You know exactly what you were doing. So yeah, but yeah, y'all, I was crying like, I, I was crying so bad. I'm like, why did I do that? Like, what was the reason of me doing that? But deep down, I just miss my ex. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it real, y'all. <laughs> I was like, Shit, that's the only reason why I did it. I'm being dead serious. Like, I shouldn't have never pursued that relationship because I already knew that I was just going to go back to fooling with my ex. I already knew. I'm going to just throw that out there, y'all. We're going to keep it, like I said, true to the team. We're going to keep it all the way 100. Yeah. So, that's the reason, Um, you know, couldn't let that nigga go. But, <laughs> but yeah. Um... Yeah, that was that 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 little situation was crazy. That was crazy. But how do y'all feel about introducing your partner to your kids? Because I have two kids. I have a boy and a girl. Um. So how do y'all feel about that? I feel like if you're dating someone. I'm not going to say you're dating their kids too because you're just dating. You get what I'm saying? Like, your kids are not their responsibility. Now, if they decide to be like, okay, you know, accept that responsibility and start doing stuff, then that's on them. But I feel like you shouldn't pressure anybody to do for your kids while y'all just dating. Now, when y'all get married, that's a whole different story. You knew that woman or man had kids. Okay, it shouldn't even be a problem. And the thing about it, a lot of y'all, I've seen a lot of y'all on Facebook saying, well, not y'all in general, but it might be y'all. I don't know. Y'all probably was up on that post. Y'all probably was up on that post, but they were saying like, oh, I don't want to um, date a man with kids or I don't want to date a woman with kids, but y'all go after them. The people who have kids. So I'm just not under, like, are you just dating that person? You dating that person for looks. Y'all need to stop doing it. <laughs> I ain't gonna say stop doing it because I got to wake up to my partner every. I got to be able to wake up to my partner and, and, and look at you and be like, yeah, you that. So, but still, if you look, if, if you don't have no intentions, and I'm, take this personally, okay? If you don't have no intentions on being with that person who have kids, don't be with them. If you're not going to like, what can I say? How can I put it? If you're not going to ask about that person, kids, like, hey, how the kids doing? Da, 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 don't be with that person. Because if you don't, if you don't, if we dating and you never ask me about my kids, we got a problem because I'm just like. Why you not ask me about my kid? I'm, I'm confused. But then again, to each his own. To each his own, child. But <clears throat> I'm not finna date somebody or be with somebody who, you know, don't accept my kids as well. That's gonna let me know when we get married. Do you want to accept my kids? No, that's not. No, nah, that's that's not how it work. That's not how it work. And I know a lot of people be like, oh. Um, the kids grow up in a broken home, in a broken family. Okay, you don't know that situation. You can be married to a partner, have kids. Okay, this is what I don't get. You can be married to somebody and have kids by that person. Then let no damn word don't work. It, it's not gonna work. So that is that a broken home? Y'all don't make sense with that. I get what y'all coming from, but I still don't understand. I don't understand it at all. I really don't. So I don't know. Like I said. I like men with kids and men without. As long as you don't disrespect me or my kids, we are good. We good. So, yeah. Like I said, in a relationship, those kids are not your responsibility. But when y'all get married, absolutely. You take you took on that man or woman, you're going to take on what comes with them. Now, with me, two kids max. I got two. You're going to have to have one or two. I'm not doing over two. I got two. You got to have two or one, whatever. Because you got three, four. That, that made like three, four. Oh, that's five. 
Ooh, that's five. But I mean, <clears throat> that's like what? One number off? So four or five, whatever. My preference. Two or one or zero. We good. We good. Now, when it comes to anything up to, and I ask you how many kids you got, you say about six. So, child, blocked. <laughs> Blocked immediately, child. You don't even make it to the number stage. Block, and my camera is actually overheating. So yeah, we're gonna have to do a part two, which I'm gonna combine the videos. So yeah, cause my camera is overheating, so it's about to cut off. Um, we gonna come back though, cause we still got a lot more to talk about. So yeah, I'll be right back. We're gonna take like a five minute break, let this camera cool, and then we gonna come back and discuss some other stuff that i got to talk to y'all about and yeah about the next host that's coming on the next two yeah we're gonna discuss that and yeah we'll be right back right back y'all so i think i'm a little bit closer but that's okay so i was like hurry hurry <laughs> i was like hurry up like it's been past five minutes but um, like I was saying, get to know your partner before you marry them. So you'll know what be going on out here. Okay. What your partner got going on. You got to know what your partner got going on. Cause like I said, if you don't know, you're going to be in a rude awakening child. Your partner could be a whole damn murder. And there you are dead funeral, six feet under in the ground crying, looking at your own body be like, damn. I shoulda, I shoulda got to know my partner. But no, funeral, early. God didn't even call you home yet. You just, just took yourself out. <laughs> but no, for real. Um, Definitely get to know your partner. Um, Don't be out here cheating, y'all. Just leave your person. If you don't want to fuck with that person, leave them. If you know you don't really want to be with them, leave them. Y'all got to chill out with all that. Like I said, it's too much floating around out here, child. Anybody got time for that? Everybody spreading everything. Ooh, then there you are. With AIDS. With HIV. Herpes. Gonorrhea. Chlamydia. You can get rid of that. But still, that's disgusting. Dying. On medication. For the rest of your life. Do you want to live like that? <laughs> I need to be in a commercial. I can be an ad. Do you want to live like that? Do you want this going on? Do you want to die early? Condoms don't help. <laughs> Sit up the line. Condoms don't help. Even though people, they help. Duh, duh, duh. Man, look, I don't give a, like I said, I don't care if they helping our child, please. Pull your record. My chart. Print your, uh, your paperwork out. Where was, that's the questions y'all need to be asking people. When was the last time you were sexually active? Or when, when was the last time you had a test done? Pull your paperwork. The date. I want to see it. Because you don't know. You never know, y'all. You never know. Pull it up. My chart. Got it on my phone. I'll be quick. Here you go. <laughs> I'll be quick to flip my dog on phone. Uh-uh, child. I ain't got time for that. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. And if you want, like I said, if you want a prenup, get a prenup. If you want somebody to meet your kids, please make sure that, um, yeah, y'all see a future together or y'all going to be together for a long time. Please stop bringing people in and out your children's lives. Stop doing that. You, you confusing them children. You confusing them children. I'm sure. Stop doing that. Don't be bringing people in and out, in and out your house. No. That goes for men and women. No. No. We're not doing that. That's. You do what you want to in your own household. But over here, child, no. None of that going on. Uh-uh. Would y'all rather get married at a courthouse or have like a big wedding? Look, I'm not spending with me. I'm not spending all that money on a wedding. You have people that spend money on these big weddings. For example, you got Portia and her husband. You know that he got that little money laundering thing going on and they about to get a divorce so they say but really they finna get a divorce so he won't take what she got her assets and stuff like that because you know that whole situation going on they can ding her money too now and get what she got 
So I think they're going to divorce. And when that's over, they're going to get back married. That's exactly what's going to happen. Because then they find them um, together. They were golfing or something like that. Or he was golfing something. Yeah, honey. You know, paparazzi be, child, they be on it, honey, TMZ. They be on it. That's why I said you got to know your partner. Then you got this meat meal situation going on. The DL niggas, what, what, what the hell going on? <laughs> it's too much. Go- it's too much going on. Then they find out he was following a porn page on Twitter, like a gay porn. Child, too much shit going on. I just mind my business. <laughs> I just scroll on Facebook, laugh, and mind my business, honey, because that's too much. That's too much. But anyways, back to the courthouse and marriage. I mean, I don't mind going to the courthouse. We can go to the courthouse and then playing. Like, I can do. I really don't mind. But I'm not going to have this big-ass wedding. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spend all that money on a big-ass wedding. I ain't doing that now. That's a little. That's a little too much for me. I had to make sure my mic was still on. A little too much for me, child. And then y'all want to talk about how long you should be dating before you get married. I feel like it's not no time limit on it. But like I said, know your partner before you go to that altar child. Know your partner. Like they said, men know if a woman if they want to marry a woman or not. If you've been with somebody for years and he leave him or leave her. Leave him. Bye. Adios. Bye. Because uh uh-uh. uh. That will get you left child six years shit i can't talk because i was in a little mm, my, mm, mm, that i'm not even gonna speak on that <laughs> but um yeah that like i said i don't i feel like well me and no if they want to marry you or not they know they know if you wife material they know okay can i bring this home to my mama or to my daddy both They'll know. They'll know, child. They'll know. But with the next guests that are coming, I have a married couple that's coming. You know, they're young. My homeboy and his wife. Speaking of, we're going to get to the situation. Because first of all, I didn't know this nigga was married. Okay? I didn't know he was married until he told me. He was like, yeah, we got married. It's a little something, you know. I said, nigga, what the, what the hell? <laughs> So yeah, but I'm so proud for him, proud of him taking that big leap. You know what I'm saying? His name Jonathan. You know we've been friends for years. We've been friends for a long time, and it's not one of them. It's not one of them. Okay, we keep it strictly on a friend basis. Okay, because I know how men be like, oh, you got a home, but yes, I do. Yeah, I do, and we keep it strictly friendship. It never been none of that. None of that. None of that. Mm-mm. Very strict on friendships. Okay. So yeah. Um, I'm bringing them on. They will be my new guest, next guest, whatever you want to call it. I will have them coming on here. I'm so excited. It's gonna be some laughing going on. I'm gonna put them in a hot seat. So I hope they are ready. And then I will have my cue cards because it's just me. I don't need my cue cards. You know, I can go off my notes on my phone, but um. I'm going to have cue cards. We're going to play um, a game. Yeah, we're going to keep it fun, interesting. Yeah, I can't wait for them to come on. This will be my first time meeting his wife. I'm so excited. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoy like this sit down with me. <laughs> um. And I can't wait to see y'all on the next episode, episode two. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video to your mama, your grandmama, your child, not your child, your mama, your grandmama, auntie, uncle, niece, nephew, the older crowd, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it was nice talking with y'all. It's like, like I said, we just having like a random conversation, like a, you know, like I'm on FaceTime with y'all. That's what I'm, that's, that's what I wanted to make it seem like, like I'm on FaceTime with y'all, but Yeah, that's all I got to say. And I'm going to wrap it up. So I'll see y'all in episode two. Bye, you guys.